Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and this is my delightful daisy, big daisy bag. Not because the bag's big, but because the daisy is big, and it is the star of this bag. It is beautiful. I love the daisy. So does the cat. She's just got herself on my desk, and she's looking to get in a basket. There we go. <laughs> she has a basket to the left of me, and I love it. I love it, I love the daisy. The daisy's been out of stock for a while, back in stock. Happy days. Right, that's a green one. Oh, really, no, go back. Thank you, back in your basket. I don't think she's been in a video since I, oh, but yes, you just parade across the desk. Piece of paper, eight and a half by five and a half inches, 21 by 14 centimeters. Can I have my scoring tool? She's on that now. Yeah, I think this is the first time she's been in a video since we've been in the new house. She hasn't appeared in anything. So on the long side, score it two, four, six, and eight inches, which is, oh, she's going to parade everywhere now, which is five, 10, 15, and 20. Just to my right is my rainbow part of my office where I showcase cards that people have sent me, and people have sent me loads of rainbow ones, which I adore. And she's, yeah, she's parading there. Turn it to the right and score it again at two inches, which is five centimeters. Finish size of this, pretty good. It's got a two inch square base, so two inches all the way around, and it's three and a half inches tall. So that's five centimeters by nine centimeters. Pretty good size. Right, so let's burnish these score lines. I'm absolutely covered in ink from the previous project, um, which was Wednesdays, when I did some well, I'm assuming it's Wednesday. At the point in time I'm filming them, that's the order it's going in. I might be all over the shop, but I've still got fresh fig ink and um, red ink from me from yeah a couple of projects, and it doesn't want to come off. Okay, right. So that's the bottom because it's the shorter part. Really, thank you, thank you, Fennel. She has got a basket on this desk. This is my craft end of my office. Actually, oh. It's going to break my whole desk and I have a, an office side and she has desks she has baskets on both of them right so that was the bottom wedged out at the top and nicked that bit away and I'm going to cut up these ones now and this really is a nice quick simple project the paper makes life so easy apart from the fact it's amazing quality it's a beautiful design too and you really don't need to add much more to it than I don't think, than the Simple Daisy. I I love to make projects with lots of stuff on. I like to make projects with not a lot on. And this is one of those not a lot on it projects. All about daisies. I could imagine a whole line of these in the varying different colors. I would say perhaps the, the more nondescript patterns, a whole big line of these on a craft table you were at a craft fair selling. Mm. So I'm pinching in the top so I've got this pattern and then just turn it and do exactly the same and this is how you get this pretty sort of star effect on the top so when you close it it will go like that. So I need my handheld punch that I already have out. This is my one and one eighth of an inch and I'm just going to go into that centre part which obviously I have a guide because I've pinched it closed and I used the silver ribbon the first time around. I'm going to go with gold this time. And it's making that a point. So from the back to the front, pull it through. And then when you pinch it shut, you've seen me do this before, I grab a couple of paper clips, which I can only, I've only got one handy right now. That will have to do. <laughs> it's gonna have to do, but it's top heavy now, or lopsided. I think probably once I've got the knot in place, I'll be okay. Yes, that's okay. And then angle it so that your knot is at the front and you can get your bow positioned at the front rather than on the top. 
because there's nothing wrong with a bow on the top but just by changing slightly where your knot is you'll redeploy where the bow goes oh that's just a terrible bow <laughs> that's just good that's a vertical bow I'm gonna fiddle around with that in a minute <clears throat> Because that is shocking. Why has that gone all over the place like that? That has gone skew if wibbly wobbly and everything. Maybe it's too big. I make it smaller and see what happens. That's a bit better. It's also probably not helped by the fact that I'm at the end of the reel, so I've got a real curl going on there. It doesn't want to. Oh, it really just. That's slightly straighter. <laughs> I literally am at the end of the reel. I've only got a tiny bit left. Ooh. Right, I'll not worry about that. Okay, let's get some whisper white. Have I got a scrap handy? No, I haven't. Straight in the big sheet and Daisy. I'm gonna have two daisies. And curl it. I've shown this before. And you just curl them gently away from yourself. Try and get hold of the petal at the end because you don't want to be yanking it off. Um, which is just no good for anybody. It's got itself stuck. Uh -oh. There we go. Fired it across the room and it got itself stuck. Not good. And mini glue dots. These are by far the best that I have found because you can get hold of them with your paper piercer and it's like an extension of your hand and get it exactly in the right position before you pull your finger out which obviously then releases the glue and yeah i i find that easier because i can i can maneuver the top one right gold daisy this time because we've got gold in the ribbon into the center and it just squishes it down i quite like the daisy that way round as well but this is definitely my my way of choice. And then dimensional there onto the front. And that with a wibbly wobbly ribbon is my lovely daisy, big daisy bag. Big in the daisy, not the bag. Cute, isn't it? That one I think is gonna go on my office shelf because that's such a lovely pastel colour. And I think I'm going to put it there. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. And I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.